Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Our group member is Abdul Halim, Muhammad Hafiz, Muhammad Izan, Ali Shanilam and Nur Laila Alia and we will present about pitch roof symmetric photo frame. In this slide, we will explain about introduction, proper structure, job sequence, advantages and disadvantages, drawing of the detailing related to the structure, factors to be considered and conclusion. Photo frames are low rise constructions made up of columns and horizontal or pitch rafter that are joined by moment resisting connections. The rigidity of the connections and the bending stiffness of the members, which is uh, strengthened by an appropriate hunch or depth of the rafter sections, offer resistance to lateral and vertical motions. This type of continuous frame construction is stable in its plane and enables for a clean span free of bracing. They were first exploited uh, for their structure efficiency which allow uh, huge rooms to be enclosed with few materials and at a reasonable cost. Steel reinforced precast concrete or laminated wood often known as glue lamp are commonly used for portal frames. Many different forms of water frames may be constructed, such as pitch roof symmetric water frame, type water frames, uh, mansard water frame, mono pitch water frame, and many more. Next is proposed structure. Our proposed structure of long span structure for this dot yard is pitch roof symmetric water frame, generally fabricated from UB sections. Uh, with a substantial eaves uh, hutch section uh, which may be cut from a roll section or fabricated from plate. It is 25 to 35 meters are the most efficient span. It meets the requirement for dock yard which is 15 meters. This portal frame found to be more economical and efficient to, uh, so it is suitable for dock yard. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdul Halim bin Abu Wakar. Today, I will present the job sequence to build a dockyard. Overall, there are five main phases of job that should be done for the whole construction. The first job that should be done is the designing of the dockyard. Designing consists of three stages, which is preliminary design, basic design, and detailed design. In preliminary stage, a draft of conceptual layout of the main workshop should be done. This require some consideration of the capacity of the dry dock and ship construction cycle. The second stage is basic design which will stimulate the conceptual layout before as considering the ship blocks, data and the transportation. Any modification of the concept layout should be made to reach the optimum outcomes. The last stage of designing is detailed design. In this stage, all the workshops should be designed in details and the production flows should be prepared. Likewise, designing the blocks including the assembly line with configuration for each line. Next is the marking phase. In the marking phase, outline of the dockyard design that have been made on the paper should be established on the ground. This mark should be clearly marked and should be last until the next phase being done. For example, the mark point should not be destroyed by rain, water or wind. There are several points that can be marked such as foundation placement. After the marking has been done, next stage can be initiated which is excavation work. Excavation work include of removing the ground soil to establish particular levels according to the design that has been established. In addition, excavation work also include the process of removing other materials on the site that can be obstacle to the construction work, such as rocks and trees. In some cases, trenching will be needed in order to perform works for the next phase. The next phase will be the erection of the workshops. This phase will be the phase which the substructure and superstructure of the workshop will be constructed. Starts with the foundation, walls, opening and roof. After the workshop is completely built, 
all the machineries and equipments that needed for the workshop should be installed accordingly. Lastly, the production of the transferring area as the ship will be transported from the coast to the dockyard, therefore a transferring area is required. The transferring pathway should be prepared based on the transferring system that have been stated in the design. So next is advantage and disadvantage for petrol symmetry portal frames. For first, strength and durability. Structural steel components are lighter and stronger than a white bearing wood or concrete product. A typical white bearing steel's fabrication is 30% to 50% lighter than a wooden equivalent. This makes steel's frame construction far stronger and more durable than traditional wood frames alternative. Second, fire resistance. Steel frames construction are highly resistant to fire, reducing the fire risk to a building and retarding the spread of a fire should one occur. Special flame retarding counting acts to increase these properties of sexual steels. Third, moisture and weather resistance. Sexual steels can have a good moisture resistance properties depends on its carbon content. Hot zinc coating and extra powder treatment for and hench rust resistant will make a sexual steel component even more immune to effects of water, an important consideration for component exposed to the weather. For this advantage, first, thermal conductivity still is not known for its one due to its high efficiency in connecting heats. The insulation value of all can be reduced as much as half when the heat is transferred away to a steel stock, which is not good news for energy retentions in a building, where steel frame construction is just insulation measures need to be put in place to encontrate the thermal conductivity to steel. Second, reduce flexibility on sites. One of the benefits of using wooden structural components is the ability to adjust them on sites. A component can be cut down to size, nail hammers in strange the joints, and so on. This obviously can't happen to steels. The measurements of steels need to be personalized calculated in advance because a steel fabrication is delivered on sites, its final performance, ready to be sewn into the building. Then supporting sexual. Steel frame constructions rarely work on their own. They usually require drywall sheetings, insulation, and supplementary wooden components to bring a building together. The longer construction time is an agreement against steel frame constructions, although usually the time saving upgrades. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Izan. Uh, my topic is drawing detailing related to the construction. Base joint. Column bases are often simple with a greater tolerance for simplifies the interface between concrete and steel foundation. Pin connection are typically preferred as they enable smaller foundation to be designed. However, stability during construction needs to be considered as much whether the column is in a boundary condition. If connection. For the if, both connections are mostly used to increase to increasing the moment res resistance to the rafter, the presence of the haunch increases the lever arm of the bolt in the tension zone, which is important if the connection carries a large bending moment. A compression stiffener in the column is usually required. The wet panel of the column may also need reinforcing. Either, either with diagonal stiffener or an additional web plate. Apex connection. The apex connection is often designed similarly. Under normal loading condition, the bottom of the, con of the connection is in tension. The haunch below the rafter, which is which in lightly loaded frames may be a simple extended end plate serve to increase the lever arm to the tension bolt, thus increasing the movement resistance. The hunch is usually small and short and is not counted for in-frame design. We go to the drawing of detailing related to the construction in general. As we can see, the cross section showing a portal frame and its restraint. Typically, knee braces detail a diagonal brace designed to resist horizontal load usually from wind or moving equipment. 
for this that dimension used for analyze and clear internal dimensions a general arrangement of restraint to the inside flange the frames are designed so that the knee braces will yield and buckle under seismic load this is followed by plastic hanging of beams at the end of the beam segment outside the knee portion through this concept inelastic activities are confined to the designated elements the knee braces also provide much less obstruction than the braces of conventional system making the structural system architecturally attractive a horizontal bracing system is needed to transfer horizontal pro forces to the planes of vertical bracing that provide resistance to the horizontal forces at roof level bracing often known as a wine jidet may be required to carry the horizontal forces at the top of column if there is no diaphragm factors can be considered on Bischoff symmetrics for the frame at the first is a cost time safety and quality for the Point number one cost. First, fabricate of sites. So, so on the on site labor can reduce by ten percent to twenty percent. Second, uh, less financing costs. Less financing cost is a shorter construction for the time result. And for the maintenance cost. The maintenance cost for this for the frame is lowest for the repair and replacement because the ability to withstand decay past a natural disaster. Factor can be considered a number two is time. Time is very fast because no no need for temporary form works which is to be assembled and the dis is meant afterwards delaying the construction as well as production waste wastage okay for the point number two a uh, pitch roof symmetric spotter frame a uh, fabricate of sites to fit a certain specifications be before being to the construction site after they are sent out they are immediately ready to be assembled by bolting or welding the other piece together. For the factors are number three is safety. That's a stretch of the pitch roof symmetrics for the frame allows them to perform well, well under a range of natural phenomena such as a hurricanes, seismic activities and snow road. Second, fire resistance. Fire resistance is more able to withstand an uh, extreme temperature compared to a concrete or timber. Special flame retardant coating acts to increase this property of structure. Factor number four is a uh, quality. quality. Quality for the uh, pitch roof, symmetric for the frame as a uh, speech mix. Simulations. The wider available space allows for more flexible floor designs that can maximize the available space. Although concrete is also strong, but it can most, but it can more strong from steel water frame because concrete has no limited, has a more limited floor to floor constructions height as well as interior spanning for the point number two is a longer lifespan for the longer lifespan it still can last longer than timber or concrete for example steel unlike a timber it doesn't does not split crack or creep as it is 
Large areas are essential for industrial proposal because they provide for maximum flexibility in usage and freedom for operations involving moving plants and equipment within the structure. Because the dockyard is where ships uh, conduct inspections and repairs, selecting the best long span uh, structure for the dockyard is a decision that must take into account a variety of factors such as uh, trading area, time, safety concern, technical ability, weather in the area, and operational constraints. As a result, pitch symmetric roof water frames are one of the most suitable long span uh, structures for this project as determined by our company. Thank you.